All right, so this particular pair of shoes right here, this model, this silhouette, man, look, has been by far the hardest pair of shoes for me to acquire. Like, it's been a good three or four years that I've wanted this particular model, but either I didn't want to pay the price the colorway wasn't what I was looking for, or I found something for the right price, the right colorway, but of course my sizing, or my sizes sold out. Or I'm just not hip to the releases, because I feel like this particular shoe just flies under the radar all the time. And luckily, right place, right time, I was able to catch like a restock, I guess, or like a late, a delayed release. Because SNS um, dropped these after midnight or wee hours in the morning. Shout out to my job. I was up. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately for me, I wasn't able to cop. Like my size 12 sold out instantly. But of course, after a good 10 or 15 minute Google search, these actually released back in June. And one particular boutique or store actually had my size in them i had to do my research first because i've never heard of the store and it was like a boutique in uh berlin i want to say so yeah like i had to do a lot to get these but clearly it was meant to be so <laughs> as you can see you get a different type of reebok box from what i'm used to i'm used to you know the blue the classic blue reebok joint so you get a white and cream or a tan off-white joint. You see the glossy Reebok logo on the top. Nothing crazy. This uh, particular model in question is the Reebok Premier Road Ultra. And this colorway is in the soft pink. I think it was like three different colorways in this particular pack. But this one, this is the one. So once, once I show y'all, y'all can see where I'm coming from. This is the one. I, I needed this one. All over Reebok uh, print paper. I don't care about that stuff. Yeah. 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 Definitely uh, well worth the wait. Yeah, Reebok Premier Road Ultra. And that soft pink. Uh, I don't know what it is about this particular shoe. I feel like. It's just that trendy runner type joint because you can swap this out for a Romero. You can swap them out for the, the Saucony I reviewed the last video. You can swap it out for the, the New Balance 2002 or the 1906. It's just that sleek, modern, throwback runner type thing, you know? Something that you can actually wear with a decent fit and be all right. Or if you just want to wear like some running shorts, running pants, and you can still get a, a fit off of these. So the colorway um, is um, different. It says soft pink, but as you can see, the hoodie is like a pink. This is more of a, what would you say, like a mauve or something to me, personally. You also get your, uh, you get some tan in there. And I want to say like a slate blue. And you also get some gray. Yeah, this uh, is toned down. It's like um, definitely like a fall type thing. If you care about colors, like seasonal colors. I'm going to wear these whenever I want. I want to say these laces are like a navy blue, maybe black. I can't really tell. I'm not going to lie to you. But the materials, you get mesh on that toe box. And your toe cap you get um some nylon in there so that's that's pretty interesting as far as hold on the material let me get this light over here maybe you can see that better yeah that looks better so you can see that nylon in there on that mesh and then you get some this is a rubber i thought it was leather but the actual toe cap itself you definitely get that leather i mean that rubber on it Leather on the upper and the uh, exaggerated Reebok logo. I think that's my favorite design element because it's not often that you would get like a logo 
closer on the toe box. It's usually like right here in the middle, but you get it like a slope going down from the um, eyelets going into the toe box, which is dope to me personally. I mean, I've liked shoes um, a good majority of my life, so different aspects and design and colorways and materials get me excited more than like the average sneaker buyer. If they think it looks nice, this that's enough for them. I like, you know, a little elevated uh, aspects in the shoes personally, but enough of that. You get some more nylon back here on your heel and that like dark mauve maroon color. More mesh, nothing too crazy. Keep it lightweight, which is what I like. It's just like a clean runner, man. Uh, you get DMX ride technology on the um, the outsole or like the insole or whatever. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be very comfortable. The Reebok is usually good um, in that department, especially with the runners. Outsole, you get more of that mauve and blue. The traction is definitely crazy. So you can definitely uh, you can hit this pavement in these with no problem. Nothing crazy on the insole. You just get the Premier Reebok logo and then like a like a hypnotic type design. Shaq Gnosis vibes. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, the price point now. Let's talk about the price point. I want to say these were 180. 180 USD. 180 American dollars for this particular shoe. Now, every other Reebok shoe that I've acquired, I have paid under retail for the exception of two of them. I had to pay resale for my, um, my Kobe PE Reebok question, and I paid retail for the Bubba Chuck Nice Kicks collab Reebok question, but the rest of them have been under retail. So this is, um, yeah, this is 180 is, is top two. And 180 retail for a Reebok is interesting, to say the least. But, you know, it's one of the shoes I wanted. Only one place had them. So, I mean, it was either pass up on them for the fourth or fifth year in a row, or finally add a dope colorway to my collection and the shoe that I've been searching for for a while so i just went ahead and got it i know i'm not going to regret these but yeah let me throw these on foot real quick give you my size and recommendations and see how they actually feel so if you're in the market for these definitely go true to size you get toe room which is a plus so it's like it's a perfect fit but it's not uncomfortable you know you definitely like it's a running shoe so you want some toe room just in case you're doing, you know, a lot of movements, any type of exercise, whatever you want that extra space. So, yeah, true to size, definitely the way to go on these for me personally. They feel good, for sure. They look good on foot, in my opinion. I'm not sure how it's coming across on camera, but I'm definitely satisfied with this purchase. I'm glad I was finally able to get my hands on a pair. Definitely looking to acquire another colorway in the future but you know if it's not worth it i'm not dropping that 180 on a basic colorway just to do it but yeah that's gonna do it for this one as always appreciate y'all for watching and hopefully you can add these to the collection if you're looking for them